You mean throwing bombs to babies in hospital? Why would I support that? Mm. Hey guys, I'm just a dude that is trying to understand all the facts and history and like sometimes these people don't let me speak so I will pause the video for a second and just show a little bit of facts and history from what I've studied. If you think that something I've said is wrong, feel free to comment and correct me and I can and we can both learn from it. That's the whole point of this channel. And thank you so much. Please like the video if you like what I'm doing. And I, I, I don't really want to do this because I'm risking my life. I, these people are crazy. They might want to come and kill me. But like, just imagine what the people who are actually suffering are going through. And if I were, were in their position, I would want somebody to also try and, and, and create awareness. So I hope you guys can learn with me and I can learn from you. And thank you so much. Mm, that's what you mean? doing. That's what you're doing. Who, me? I'm, I'm not even involved. I'm just- No, you're doing it because you're just supporting the Hamas, you know? You're doing both. When did I say I support Hamas? <laughs> We? No, no. What did you okay, say? Okay, no, okay, no, okay, no, no. okay. What did you but, say? Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, but Israel is don't do this thing. I, right Wait. now, there is right now there is two Israelis in the in Gaza in the that kidnapped, kidnapped two, two, kidnapped two babies. babies. Two babies. One year old. One year old and four years old. This it's is crazy. Crazy. What it's are crazy. you doing? Bring them now, now. Yeah, okay, I understand there are some people who have been kidnapped. But why are you exploding the whole Gaza? No, no. When, no, we, when no. we shot, we tell the, the, the environment, go away. We, we, who am I No, I understand. Yeah. Before, you know, so they could, could protect themselves. We do this. We, we tell them, but to, them don't do it. it. They just shot, shoot. Okay, shoot. okay. Did, did you know the three Israel people were murdered this morning this by Palestinian? This is... Horrified, you know? Okay, and did you know that there's more than 30,000 Palestinians murdered by Israel in the past five we months? They get out of Gaza. That's not our fault because Hamas just keep them in there okay. because it's not fault of the, of the people in Gaza. If we won't do Hamas. this, Let Hamas me... will kill them. If, we, if they were trying to get outside of Gaza, Hamas will kill them. And then we are also like... Okay, so these people are saying that they warn the Palestinian people before exploding their houses. How cute is that? Would you like me to go to your house and warn you before, like, <laughs> how cute? And like, where are the Gaza people are gonna go? Like, like they, they're literally on an open air prison. Like, there's, they cannot go from the water because they get shot by the Israeli boats. They cannot go to the east because there's a wall that separates Israel and Gaza and it has a bunch of checkpoints that we are still wondering how the 7th of October happened with that much security but whatever and they cannot go south because that's where Egypt is and they have their borders blocked because I guess they're controlled by uh, uh, these elites these Zionist elites because it makes no sense for me why Egypt uh, a Muslim country is not helping, but whatever, I'm not gonna get into that. And like, why they? Why should they? Like, why should Gazans leave their homeland? Like, <laughs> like that's their homeland. Why should they go to Egypt? But whatever. And then they cannot go north because that's where uh, Israeli military is pretty much landing, leveling the place. So I'm gonna show you a couple of evidences of how they are committing a genocide and still not accepting it and they've been doing it for so many years but whatever let's see the facts
if if a Hamas uh, member hides in a Israel hospital, are you going to bomb the whole hospital? No. We we. So why are you doing it in Gaza then? We take care of. of Oh. We took care of one of the murderers today. You know that? He was like getting care. You see how they deviate from the topic and totally make themselves like the victim or the heroes and like change the topic. You see how she said that they would not explode hospitals in Israel that had those so-called terrorists. And as soon as she said no, then I said, why, do, why are you doing it in Gaza? She right away changed the topic and said that they're rescuing some somebody in the hospital. Like, the fuck, man. In the freaking hospital by oh, Israelis. Israelis. Israelis Australia. doctors were taking care of him and make sure he will be alive because this is what we believe in, you know? Okay, but would you bomb the hospital inside? No, that no, did. You that's know that the Jihad Islamic did this in uh, Gaza. The Jihad Islamic shoot on them because they're stupid. They're wait, so wait, wait, wait. The, the Jihadi Islamic. Do you even know what Jihad means? Do you know what Jihad means? Yes. What, yes. What, yes. what is Jihad? Also, they're an organism. The what? They're also organism. Terror. 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 Jihad. Terror. That's not the meaning of Jihad. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. You know okay. from France. Yeah. Friends. yeah. You know because you pick the side <laughs> of the wrong. <laughs> When you know the ones that are sung, sing I am, sing I am, the Islamic is the dark and the morning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. You guys are being fed. The... You guys are being fed the wrong news. What do you want me to do? There's. The... No. What? Let's uh, listen. Listen. I live in israel okay i know what i'm being that's true. why you're being brainwashed by, by no, your media I, I no, I be no. so these people from child are being taught that they are like they have right to this land for some reason and that they are superior beings than palestinians and it's just weird education system i don't know maybe i'm wrong you feel free to correct me but you have to see this video ומה קורה כשאתם רואים ילד ערבי? מה אתם מרגישים? בגישות זעם. זעם? ומה קורה כשאתם פוגשים ילד חילוני? למה אתה מרחם עליו? שלא לומד אתכם יודעים מה הוא מפסיד? כשאתם חושבים על ירושלים בעוד עשר שנים. כולם חרדים? כולם חרדים? כולם יהודים, יש גם ערבים שהם עובדים. תהיה משיח, הבנתי. כן, מה אתה אומר? שמיכה בא, כל הערבים ימותו. Okay, so it's just weird, man. It's just weird that so many of them think that they're a superior being, and it's just weird. And it has been going on for such a long time. Like, <laughs> my main question here is so everybody wants to blame Hamas, 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 Hamas. And my question is, why did Israel attack even before Hamas ever existed? Have you ever wondered that? And like, I'm not trying to paint Israel as the bad guy or the good guy. I'm just in favor of humanity, man. Like you can teach your kids whatever you want in school. But if you're teaching them that they're superior to other beings and that you have to destroy Al-Aqsa Mosque to build your temple, that's messed up, man. That's messed up. I understand. I understand the other side. Okay? I understand. Yeah. But you can say that we murder a, a little kid when when two, uh, two babies are right now there. It, it's crazy. Wait, now wait. You have to, so... So you're that saying that you can murder 10,000 babies because they have two and of your babies? No, 
don't it. We don't. We don't. Those are the numbers. Learn, learn what you say. Check it. Check it. Yes. I'm a, I'm a history teacher. I'm a history teacher. Look, this is my board. This is my board. so horrible. You're doing freaking horrible work, man. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Look, okay, okay, okay. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And her sister's on the IDF. We know exactly what's going on, okay? Let me ask we you this. Tell... Shut the fuck up. Let me speak. Okay, go we ahead. Need... Okay, let me. <laughs> we tell the Palestinian people in Gaza before, before. before we get, like, the airplane. So they could like, stay alive. They don't yeah, do this we, to us. They don't do this to us. they just bombing us. And I understand. I understand there are some innocent people in there just want to get out of there. But you also understand that on this October 7th, where people from Gaza, not from Hamas, no from Jihad, no from any terror organism, were getting into Israel, kidnapping Israeli people, and get into what? houses and take a whole family. Yeah, yeah. To they Gaza. took the whole family. They right, took right stuff. They took money from their beds. They took like watches. No, no, money. Uh, leave it. They took them. They took the, the whole family right here. To Gaza, in yeah. one car, uh, take him. You know, you, you see on like, their bed you, in, in seven in the morning. It's crazy. You see like news all over the the, the world. There is Ori Magidis. She was like um, army soldier, and she was kidnapped from her house, but not from Hamas. A whole family from Gaza took her to Hamas, and then when the IDF, like our IDF. Uh, our air force to start to, to bombing like Gaza because they have to. What they they just left her over there and alone like okay. how could they? Okay, now my my can I speak now without being interrupted? What? I, can I can I now say my point of view without yeah. being interrupted? But and you understand what we? Think? Yes, yes, I understand your point and, of view. It's okay. Now let me let me say my point of view, but please don't interrupt me, okay? No. Because I didn't interrupt you, please don't interrupt me. Yeah, okay. Okay, the first question I would ask as an Israeli citizen would be why 7 October happened. That would be that would be my first question as an Israeli citizen, okay? That I will leave you as a homework for you guys to ask why October 7 happened in the first place. Second of all, did you know that on October 7, the Israeli army with the helicopters fired at their own civilians? Did you know they also fired with tanks at their own civilians? It was not only Hamas, but also Israeli military that did that massacre. That's one point. Why do they skip, bro? Why do they skip, these people? <laughs> these people cannot argue because they've been brainwashed. And then when you tell them the facts, they run away. How so here we have one of their commanders admitting that they shelled, or that means a tank fired its bullet into a house full of civilians. And they killed their own people that day on October 7th just to make the whole thing bigger, more of a massacre, more of a news, more of a 9-11 so that they can have an excuse to go into Gaza. Now, let's hear him out. You found the where you stand, where, where you stand exactly? Uh, we're lying, two couples, two men, two women, handcuffed. And inside this, this, uh, this house were another 15 burned people, among them eight babies. In this corner. They were concentrated them, and they uh, killed them, and they burned them. Did you see? I evacuated them. But well, well, why is the destruction then? I'm sorry. Well, well, why is the destruction? This destruction it looks like a more was like a cause of our tent's um, uh, attack. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Because they were blocked in these houses and we need to, uh, to conquer back the whole settlement. And okay. it couldn't be happened without the tanks. Look how he smiled. So how many were uh, how many were here, and then how many survived? Uh, how many did you? No one you survived able? from this house. Uh, from other buildings, we, we rescued many, but from this house, 19 people died. Among them, 
eight children. So you are the you found all right, so as you can see, that's a clear confession from their own military people. Like, you can't argue or debate that. Like, what? What more proof than you want? Like, so, okay, whatever. Besides that, there's so many people in Israel suing their own government for killing their own people and not doing enough on October 7th. So blaming everything on Hamas, it's not right. How can you be the most intelligent army in the world and have the most secured wall in, in, in the world that not even a cockroach can pass there without you noticing? And you're going to tell me those people invaded Israel and, and, and like all that happened? I don't know. You got to be very innocent to accept that. But let's continue. Hi, my friend. Hello, my friend. How, how are you? I am good. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, where are you from? Philippines. Philippines? Yes. Why does it mark me like you're from Israel? Uh, I'm working here in Israel. Really? That's so yes. odd. Hotel workers. But what, 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 do you, what do you do at work? What's your work? Cleaning room. Oh, nice, nice. And how how's life in Israel? Israel is very nice country. Oh, good to hear that. What do you think yes. about the war? The war, it's... <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? You're from France? No, I'm from Israel. And how do you speak French? I got some French friends. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> and, but I used to live in I used to live in Canada as well, so I can speak English. Oh, nice. Yeah, you have a very good English. Um, thank you. You too. Yeah, thank you. I was gonna ask you, uh, what do you think about the whole situation going on right now in in Israel and Palestine and and, and Gaza? Do you want Do you want to hear my honest like opinion? Of course. Because like my opinion, just letting you know, I'm a soldier. No, that that's okay. Like, that's yeah, yeah. I've been I've been to Gaza and and I've seen everything. Trust me, it's literally. First of all, what you don't see on the media on the media is that like me as a soldier, I, I'm my my operation. I'm in the tanks. All right. So we are the first one to go everywhere because that's the safest, right? So the tanks go first. So I see everything, and trust me, like I I'm. 19 years old all right and i just got drafted like half a year ago and literally we have to fight for our lives in that age just to protect ourselves from terrorism and literally me so there being a few commanders like like idf it's a program it's shit like they don't give a fuck about you it's tough enough trust me like you get treated like shit and like there's there's been two commanders that actually looked into me and appreciated me and helped me and like literally what happened so we were first and there were a bunch of terrorists so then there was also a, a lot of civilians and we literally couldn't shoot like i see our commanders and they're shooting at us like rpgs and shit to our tanks and stuff which we could die from that and that's what happened so uh basically our my commander didn't we don't we, we couldn't shoot them because they hit, they hid behind the civilians and some of them trying to run away and shit and we we also take care of them like literally they've been hit from the hamas and being used as a human shield and then we take care of them and literally two great people that i knew that used to be my commander just died and they're like 20 years old like you know just every fucking normal teenager with a bunch of life like great people had to die because they couldn't even shoot to protect their lives because how much is using them as a human shield and that's a little bit fucked up like you don't have to just wake up one day knowing that a lot of your friends just went to a party because it was a big party everybody has friends in our age everybody has friends that went to that party just normal great people you know and very special each one of them but like just normal teenagers get fucking shot at at a party 
that's like terrorism shit that like if you if you can't sleep at night because you know that shit might happen every time like people are getting used to being murdered in the streets everywhere and it's fucked up because we're like we're, we're, we're we should have a country as everybody else you know no no i totally agree and 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 i'm sorry for all the losses that uh you've had and for all the innocent lives that have been killed on any side and like i understand i understand your position but there's limits to everything right so you you can say something uh you you can say like like this this phone is black right you can say that or you can say it's white but at the end of the day we have to look at the evidence and the facts now you yeah, say char Yeah, so so yeah, let me let me finish speaking because I let you speak. So now please right, so let me can, can I can I just finish what I with one thing what I wanted to say? Sure. Go so ahead. also all the losses that are there, we don't want them. We literally call people up to get out of the places so so we don't have to hurt them and we have to do that only because Hamas is hiding there. Like they're using hospitals and school like I've been there. Like I, I had to conquer a uh, place which was a uh, evacuated uh, uh, school and they literally have rockets and shit and they teach there in school and they have a bunch of places where they make their all the army stuff and and guns and stuff and they teach them how to use it in in schools and that's literally the rockets that are killing our people so what do you want us to do like we have to do that and we're trying to do that in the best way but they're using them as a human shit yeah so, okay Yeah. So so yeah. so this is something very common on the Israeli side when when saying and using terms as human shields and self defense and all that. I'm right? telling you I've seen it in my own eyes. Okay, yes, but let me let me let me it's my turn to yeah, talk, yeah. right? So yeah, I respected yeah. you, please. Now let me Yeah, but it's finish. a conversation though. Like all right. No, no, no but I let you on. speak. Now let me let me speak and then you can answer and debate me anything I say. And and so so like um like I I understand your point of view, but there's like the whole world is seeing what is happening from inside Gaza because there's so many journalists and so many people putting everything on social media which which are things that you are not going to see on the mainstream media, right? So I've seen people say that that those people are used as human shields and the re I mean I've never seen I've never seen uh, uh, one of those guys putting a Palestinian in front of him and and like and like so using I've him as a it. human shield I, I, I've literally seen it in my no, I know I know you I can say you. I, it's fucked up I, I know you It's can say up. I was surprised as you yeah bro. that's exactly what I've seen bro but you got exactly you gotta let me finish bro you gotta let me finish I, I understand yeah, no, you just said I've just seen it yeah but I, I listened to you and and like I, I never stopped yeah, you yeah. for anything keep going, keep going, so, keep so going, yeah keep so I've 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 never seen somebody do that with a Palestinian kid and put a shield but I have seen images of Israeli military cars that put a child in the windshield as a human shield I no, no, no. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, there, there's evidences. I have, I have pictures. I'm a professor. They make you see I'm a what professor, you bro. See. I, have, I have. You know. Gaza, Hamas knew. You think Hamas didn't know I was Jewish? Of course they did. In fact, they gave me extra protection because I'm Jewish, because they knew people who might not quite understand. And so in the middle of the day, um, I, along with two Palestinian photojournalists, were taken by an Israeli commander and forced to stand at gunpoint in front of Israeli soldiers as they shot children. Um, of course, I also, you know, faced these children are firing um, marbles from slingshots which, while that doesn't compare to a gunshot, still could take out an eye or something. You know that on the, the seven, so what happened there, literally, you know how many girls are pregnant right now because terrorists raped them? 
those are only there's the ones no who evidence of that people, there's no evidence got, of that bro i know people like that that's what i'm telling you they don't see shit on the social media they show, they show you what you think right now which is not bro, true it, it, do you know how many I, rape I cases are here. happening in the idf right now bro, do you know how many bro, people you, in the idf are raping their own military women do you even know that no i'm there bro <laughs> okay, so the Israeli health ministry is lying then. Listen, I'm telling you that on the 7th, I don't know, or just because you wanted to kill people, I don't know, so basically they wait, raped wait. you saying just because women. they wanted to kill people who does that who wants to just kill people hamas no 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 no, no no because you have Jewish. to ask yourself why october 7 happened why you, what do you mean why you they, they those people have no rights bro they're living in a prison they why do you have a wall not, you you control no, their you don't know why do you control about. their water they all why do you control all their come. food they choose to live there. They can all live in Israel and they all come to work in Israel. You know how many people from Gaza work in Israel and come there? Yeah, and they, they have to pass and checkpoints. They're all doctors and shit. They, they have to pass like checkpoints, things. bro. Why do they have to pass but, checkpoints? But how the fuck? <laughs> You're talking to me about it. I live here. I'm telling you. You're just, Bro, I, you you're don't. Just, you don't have to live there. There's 75 years of history documented of a genocide. Yes. Showing you whatever the fuck you want to see. And that's the, the whole no, issue. But no, no. Mainstream media is on your side. Mainstream media is on I, your side. Yes, bro. It's the social funny. media that is allowing us to learn the actual, the reality. Mainstream media is on your side. You're funny as hell. Bro, wh what? Show me. Wow, why do they leave, bro? Why do they leave? They cannot argue with the facts. This. Oh my god, bro. When can I find one of them that will not leave because of the facts, bro? It's crazy. This is crazy. They don't want to debate. They don't want to argue with the facts. Bro. Hello. Stop. Cuckoo. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? I'm good, thank you. Where, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm in France right now. Ah, uh, me too. You talk, you talk, you speak French? Uh, comme si, comme ça. Ah, moi je parle beaucoup français. That it's okay. How much time you are, you are in France? Uh, just a couple of days. Ah, uh, where are you from in uh, in day? I am from all over the world. I'm from I'm from Palestine. Ah, uh, nice. Where uh, are you from? You love Israel? Uh, if I if I love Israel, um, if if they would behave well, I would love Israel. But <laughs> they are not behaving well, bro. Israel is not a good people. Hamas is the not good people. Israel not kill the Palestinian people. Israel will kill the Hamas. Is that what they tell you? Huh? Is that what they tell you? I'm not the uh, talk very good English because. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. But but bro, um, uh, I mean, Hamas is not a country. Israel is a country. So we cannot compare Israel to Hamas. You know, we got to compare Israel to Palestine. And, and Hamas, a, a Palestine is not a country. Gaza, Gaza is, the, is a small 
Gaza is the not country because I'm not good talk English. No, that's okay. Don't worry. I understand Palestine is not an official country. It's yes. a land, um, but it should be an official country. And that's the whole issue. But yeah. hey, bro, thank you so much and free Palestine. No. Free Israel for me and free Palestine for you. That, that is okay. You, you have a... You... Let, let's say free humanity. How about that? Free humanity. Yes. Everybody free. Free humanity. Yes. Human, free humanity. Have a good day, friend. Have a good day. You too, bro. Have a good day. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope everybody can learn something from this. And once again, if you think I have something wrong on my facts, let me know in the comments. Please share, like, and subscribe for more content. And I will leave uh, a book here that everybody can read about their education system. Maybe we can all learn uh, from it. And I was hoping that you might be able to tell us maybe how you came up with the idea of studying it or I think it maybe it just happened but also I continually hear that the Palestinians teach hate and the Israelis teach peace. No really. <laughs> so tell me tell me about uh, your book and your study. First of all the pa Palestinians don't teach hate because even if they wanted to they couldn't have because they're so monitored, supervised and censored by Israel directly and indirectly. Oh. By World Bank, by uh, the European Union, by uh, and by the Israeli military, really, and by the Israeli uh, Ministry of Education. So even if they wanted to, they couldn't have. Wow. You okay. See? So that's something that we don't hear. We, we don't hear about that. You don't hear about that. No. Uh, I have a colleague, Samia Alayan, who is a specialist on that. So you can, you know, you can interview her as well. Okay. So even if they wanted to, they wouldn't. Have, they couldn't. I mean, they cannot do anything. They, they can hardly teach about their own history in their books.